What is up, my cheesy YouTube minions? I have a battle here against the Rio Wands, a guy I battled a few times in the past, and uh, this is going to be a mixed-tier match of some sort. Um, and I'm actually going to bring, um, well, maybe not the most familiar face, but a familiar face in that... Okay, I'm going to bring Dustbuster Senior here. Because, well, Dustbuster is uh, still easily, you know, sleeping in my sock drawer. Um, Dustbuster's mother decided to come join my team here in this mixed-tier match. Um, like I said, because I already used the nickname Dustbuster. I want to try a new fur set, so I named it Dustbuster Senior. I actually had a Dustbuster Junior as well, but I don't think that ever made a Wi-Fi. I think Dustbuster Junior is a banded set. Uh, but this is Dustbuster Senior, but not the Pokemon I lead with. The Pokemon I lead with is Keldeo against his Dawn fan. And, um, I just go for a Scald. I know obviously he's going to have Sturdy, but I want to hit him down to that Sturdy. I know he's probably just going to want to sub Stealth Rocks. So, I just want to, I mean, I'm kind of hoping for the burn, too, because then I would just kill it. He ends up having the red card, so he's going to be able to phase me out in my como O, which is fine. Um, as he just set up Stealth Rock, so. Yeah, kind of predictable. kind of hurts me, because I do have a Pokemon that's weak to them, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I know I need to kill this thing. I know he's going to carry the Ice Shard to hit me super effectively, but it's not that strong of a move, so I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower. This is actually a Comonium Z. Como O, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I did want to pop off the Comonium Z against that because it was like one HP, seemed like a waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it off against this here Octillery, a Pokemon I never see. In fact, this might be the first time I've ever seen Octillery, and it is Scarfed because it actually outspeeds my Como, despite Octillery being a super slow Pokemon. So it's a Scarf Octillery, hilariously enough. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop off my uh, Como Como Knight now, um, which is going to, of course, give me a Rainbow Boost because that's what uh, Clangorous Soul Blade does. And, um, obviously it also does, uh, some really, really, really solid damage, um, as I'm able to go ahead and, uh, take this Octillery out, as well as get my Rainbow Boost. So down goes the Shiny Octillery, as I, uh, raise my attack, my defense, my special attack, and, uh, special defense, and my speed. The whole nine yards. And, uh, this is a special set, I've used it before, um, so the attack doesn't really matter. But anyway, in comes Heracross, it's probably gonna be a Scarf set, it ends up being a Speed Tie. Uh, but I end up winning the speed tie, because they have the same base speed, and obviously he's going to be scarfed. Um, I am uh, plus one, so I get lucky there, outspeeding. But unfortunately, to my surprise, the Heracross lives the flamethrower. I never would have thought Heracross had a chance to live flamethrower there, but um, it does, and it gets us off its moxie boost. So that's kind of scary, but I'm going to go to Celesteel. Because Celesteel can take pretty much anything, even a plus one close combat, I would hope. Um, and he ends up uh, switching out Heracross, not wanting to uh, risk it, and goes out into his Ampharos, which is a good play. Probably going to be a Mega Ampharos, um, so yeah, he's just going to probably Mega Evolve and uh, go for an Electric move, I would think. So I'm going to go to my Nido King, um, which obviously can... Uh, I I'm kind of worried about like a Dragon Pulse here. He ends up going for a Cotton Guard, so it's one of those Cotton Guard Ampharoses, but um, that is more than fine by me because obviously Nido King is going to be a special sweeper these days due to the Sheer Force ability, and uh, it's very, very strong special move pool. And I'm just going to go for the um, Earth Power now. Now, obviously, he's probably going to have some decent uh, special bulk investment or just bulk investment in general if he's running Cotton Guard. So I don't know if I can kill, um, even with the super effectiveness and the sheer force. Um, it gets it down a red HP, and I, I'm going to take a Dragon Pulse. And here I'm like, you know what, this is my Stealth Rocker. I'm actually going to go for the Stealth Rock because in my mind, I want to make sure I kill a Heracross back on the Switch. But he ends up switching out Ampharos here. Um, I guess not wanting to lose it, and this is excellent for me because that Stealth Rock now kills two of his Pokemon because that Ampharos isn't healthy enough to switch in. And, uh, neither is his Heracross, so now two of his Pokemon are just dead, unless he can get rid of them, and I don't think he has a Defogger. Um, but yeah, he ends up going into his Umbreon, and he's gonna try to Curse. Um, now obviously Umbreon has a ton of special defense, it's kind of its uh, primary stat as far as evolutions go. Uh, so it is a incredibly strong, uh, special wall, and after the Curse, it's gonna be pretty scary in that regard, too. So I hope my Celesteel can come in, this is a standard Celesteel with Leech Sheet and Toxic, so I'm hoping I can get the status off on this thing. Um, he, uh, he reveals the Wish, so uh, that's pretty nice, because it's going to be Wish Protect, and his last move has to be Payback if he's running Curse. Um, so he obviously won't have, like, um, I think Umbreon can get Heal Bell, but we won't have to worry about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for that Toxic, and even though it has Synchronize, it won't affect me, because I am a Steel-type, um, and I'm immune to that sort of thing. And, yeah, here comes the uh, Curse again, and he's just going to try to raise his stats. Now, Celesteel has some amazing defensive stats, as you can probably tell just by looking at it. Um, now I'm no longer going to be well, steel type, no longer is this dark, so if he does go for a payback, it's uh, going to be neutral, but I feel like I can take it okay. Um, I kind of want to see how well I take it. I'm just going to go for the Leech Seed this turn, um, to, you know, get a uh, better recovery, as well as, um, yeah, just see what how much this does, and payback does nothing at plus two, so that's pretty awesome. In fact, with Protect, I'm pretty sure the leftovers in Leech Seed with my Protect, I can pretty much heal it 
faster than he can dish it out, so that's pretty cool. Although, um, he's probably not going to want to stay in and do that. So he does go ahead and, uh, no, he does stay in. I go for the Heavy Slam. Um, even though he does have plus two defense, uh, so it's not going to do a whole lot, but I figure he's just going to wish this turn, so it's kind of free. Um, because he pretty much has to wish or switch out, so it's uh, pretty free for me to go for that Heavy Slam. And um, indeed, he does go for the wish, so he's either going to stay in and protect this turn, or he's going to switch out to try to get a safe switch into probably his Typhlosion, uh, because Typhlosion obviously is just one Pokemon that can probably hurt my Celesteela that isn't going to die on switching. So yeah, and he does, he does go out into his Typhlosion, um, the powerful fire type, and I believe I go for the Heavy Slam, so that's what I do. Uh, probably should have went for, because I probably should have figured this switch was coming, I went for like a Leech Sheet or a um, Toxic, but it's whatever. This thing's now at full HP, I don't want to take an Eruption, um, and I end up staying in for some reason. I guess I call his bluff and go for the Toxic. I don't know why I would have done that, because Eruption would have done a ton of damage to me, but thankfully he doesn't go for it, he's going to actually predict my Incineroar, so that's pretty cool. I almost went into my Incineroar too, um, but he tries to predict that and go for the Focus Blast, ends up backfiring though, and uh, yeah, now he has to switch out because he's locked in a Focus Blast and goes right back into his Umbreon. And uh, yeah, like I said, his Typhlosion is um, pretty much his last offensive threat that's really, really dangerous to me. Um, but uh, definitely feels good getting that thing Toxic Poisoned because it went for the... He tried, he tried to overpredict, and at this point in the game he kind of needed to try to overpredict, but um, definitely it's going to uh, help me out now. And uh, yeah, this Umbreon is nearly dead. In fact, I believe it's going to die before it's able to get... I mean, it might protect here. I think I switch out. Yeah, I switch out predicting a protect. And I go into my uh, Dustbuster Senior here. Um, like I said, I'm going to bring Dustbuster's Mommy. So there we go. This is actually a coil set. Um, even though I don't actually get to use it, but this is a coil set. Um, one of Dustbuster's new tools in Generation 7, I believe it gets that. Um, but it's pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Umbreon's life, so, just by being here, just by being cute, Dustbuster Sr., uh, is gonna be able to take out this, uh, Umbreon, so down it goes, and in comes his Typhlosion again. Now, I already know that he has Focus Blast, um, but, um, Eruption could be also really powerful, and he goes for Eruption, even though he's not at full HP, though, so it's not gonna be quite as powerful, and Dustbuster lives as I go for a return! Dustbuster Senior loves me, but not enough to kill the Typhlosion. And now his wish will trigger, uh, because uh, he died that uh, previous turn, so it's this turn. And uh, yeah, Typhlosion's back at pretty high HP, high enough that it can uh, deal a significant chunk of the eruption. I decide uh, because my, I know that my um, Incineroar is going to take 25% on switching. I feel it's safer uh, to get the safe switch into it by um, going into it after, unfortunately, sacrificing Dustbuster Senior. Um, but that's okay, because I can now go to my Incineroar, it's Assault Vested, so I know I can take an Eruption okay, and he is gonna go ahead and switch out, he goes out into his Heracross to die, which is actually a good play to see what I would do, um, and to get a safe switch into whatever he wants to safe switch into. So down it goes, I just go for a Dark Slariot, it obviously misses, and in comes the Typhlosion again, so now he can switch out his moves, um, that's what he wants to do, he wants to switch the moves of his, uh, Typhlosion. And, um, I'm like, okay, the Focus Blast has to be coming, so I'm gonna go to my Nidoking, um, pretty much to Death Fodder that, um, and yeah, he goes for the Fire Blast, so he is actually trying to predict my switch into Celesteela, does kill my Nidoking, but now that I know he's locked into Fire Blast, I can go right back into my Incineroar, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, I can take a Fire Blast for sure. I don't know how much HP he has left, he could potentially switch out one more time, but I think I still have this. Um, just because he, his turns are limited due to Toxic. I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch. He does try to stay in because he realizes he lost at this point. He could try to maybe switch out, switch his move, but at best he's gonna get one more KO. Instead, he's just gonna go, um, and die, and he misses the Fire Blast, so sorry, Wands. Um, it's been a little while, he's a little rusty, and it was a mixed tier match. Um, although, he actually didn't bring an OU, even though he said to bring an OU, but, uh, I don't know. Either way, I think we said bring two, up to two? I don't really remember. But, um, that's okay. Hey, Rusty. We'll battle again soon, Wands. He was an NGDL2 participant. Maybe he'll appear for the NGDL3, I'm not sure. But today's question of the day is going to be... Who's your favorite superhero? Um, I'm not really a big comic person slash superhero person. Um, but as for me, give me... I kind of like, uh, the superhero parodies. Like, uh, Captain Hammer. Um, from, uh... Dr. Horrible. I also like, uh, One Punch Man. It's, like, an anime with, like, a parody. And, of course, Deadpool. Um, I'm probably in a minority in this, but, uh, I mean, while I like superhero movies, um, and, uh, to an extent, the comics, um, I'm not really a huge superhero guy, but, um, they're definitely entertaining movies, I can't argue with that. 
But I find the parodies to be much more satisfying. Anyway, leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later. Bye.